Yo, hello, what's up everyone? My name is Bilores and I am back with a new quest guide. This time we're gonna do the Elemental Workshop 2. What you will need for this is having completed the Elemental Workshop 1, level 20 magic and 30 smithing. Okay guys, after that, what do you need for uh, items? You will need the battered key, the slashed book and two uh, elemental metals. If you don't know how to get those for items, just click the link in the description. Uh, you just have to repeat the process as you did in Elemental Workshop 1. Uh, so yeah, that's really easy. If you if you still remember it, just go for it and get this shit very quickly, those four. Um, other than that, what you will need is a hammer, a pickaxe, uh, some teleporting runes is recommended. I also took a staff of air. Uh, so yeah, that's easier. I took a weapon. It's not really needed, but yeah uh, And some food is maybe helpful. Yeah uh, Anyways, that's pretty much everything that you will need so guys first thing you will do is search this bookcases uh, You will do that and you will try to find two books All right, so I found my first book awesome and Let's try to find my second book Alright guys, now we found two books. When you get the, those two books, you just read them. Uh, you don't have to read them, but just pass the pages. And then you will find the scroll uh, with this book. Then you read it again. So you also read the pages. And then it's done. So you should read two times this beaten book and one time this book of chemicals. Also guys, don't forget to read the scroll, you will see like a strange code and then you are fine. After that you teleport to Camelot, or you just go to there if you don't have to require it. Magic level, you run all the way to the west, until you will go back to one of those buildings you also entered during the elemental workshop part 1. So this little blacksmith house, you push the wall. The odd looking wall and then you go down then you hit all the time to the north until you go back to this little water uh, place then you have to search this machinery and you will find a hidden key all right when you got that you go back to the center and you open the hatch with the key and then you go can go down Alright guys, when you're down here, you go all the way to the south until you see a schematic crate. You search it and you take both of the items that are in this crate. So now you will have a lever schematic and a crane schematic or something like that. After that, it's gonna take a while because you have to search like nearly every crate. You will have to try finding four pieces. Uh, of a machine so yeah until you found four pieces you will try to search everything so I got one piece right now uh, and I will speed up the clip and we will see when I fin finally finish so see ya Alright guys, if you searched everything on the first stage, you climb up the ladder and then you will try to find in the other crates. Alright guys, if you found all the pieces, you climb back down, as I'm doing. And what you should need right now... Uh, is a medium cog, a large, a small and a pipe. Okay, after that you uh, go to this tunnel hall, this, yeah, this pin, you go to this little machine thingy and then you use your large cog on the most south one. After that you use the small one on the most, on the east uh, above. And then you use your medium on the um, lowest one. 
give me a second I'm sorry I misclicked and you use it on the pin all right guys after that you uh, pull the lever and then you go back upstairs then you use your uh, elemental metal on the workbench and you take the elemental claw okay now you go back down as I'm doing you pull the lever over here you take the grain claw and you put it on the old crane and then you pull the lever one more time when then it's done you go upstairs but just on the second stage of the underground and then you will have to find a uh, play machine place so right here when you're here you take your pipe and you put it on the piping now we replace the section of the broken pipe then you have to go to the junction box you open it you click on this one and this one this one and this one this one and this one then you should be done okay guys then you go back down to the most first part of the underground then you go back to the crane and then you put uh, the lever no then you put the elemental metal on the jig cart right here then you take the most uh, eastern no the most western lever and you turn it until the crane goes down you do it once again and now you have to click on the most uh, eastern lever now the crane will turn around you go back to the west lever as I do just take it the way I do just take it back up turn it again with this lever over here then take this lever once again take it once again so now you pull this lever over here after that you have to wait and then you have to pull this lever over here I know there's a lot of levers but just watch how I do it on my screen and you will know how to do it as well so you have to do this and then you have to pull this lever once again and it will go to the next station all right guys then you go to the north for guess what another lever over here this one and now the that will open the door now you have to turn the cockscrow lever what the fuck is going on with my cursor do you guys see this look that anyways then you turn it one more time and then guess what do again the lever over here this one the more snort one and then your uh, bar is in here after that you turn the water valve valve and then the piece will have a lot of water into it then you go back to the right and then you lower the uh, water again so after that you guys will see that the bar uh, changes as well then you go back to the left one and you click on it one more time now you close the valve that's awesome and you go pull this lever one more time <laughs> okay guys after that you have to turn the cockscrew lever one more time you repeat the process so the uh, jig cart is deposited on this rails close the door once more time with this stupid lever now we will have to let it go to this station so to do that we go back to one of the previous levers which is over here next to this sign so don't pull the wrong lever you will see that the cart will go back again to here and then you turn this le lever 
until it turns white okay so sometimes you have to do it multiple times but the jig card has to be white like the bar inside of it let it go again to another station the station where it began and now you have to wait until it comes up here okay guys when it arrived you take from the jig card and after that you go down here on the stairwell after that you go to the south until you see this door and then you open the door after that you put this white primed bar on the extractor gun and then you go sit down here now it will be like an electric chair and you will be like you know and after that you get a fucking awesome orange sexy bar a primed mind bar okay when that's done you go back upstairs upstairs one more time to the beginners room and then you put your uh, bar your orange bar you just made you put it on the workbench and then you have to make a elemental mind helm not the shield because then it will be really shit but you take the helm Alright guys, now your quest is done, isn't that awesome? You got one quest point, 7.5k smithing XP, 7.5k crafting XP, and the ab ability to make and equip elemental mind equipment. Isn't that really fucking awesome guys? Alright guys, I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did so, please leave a thumbs up and comment below what I could uh, improve in my quest guides because I know I'm not the best one to make quest guides. I'm always wrong and all this crap. That's why sometimes I cut scenes out. Uh, but anyways guys, if you have any tips and tricks uh, on what... I could improve on my ser on my uh, quest guide. Say it below. You can also subscribe on the channel for money making guides and more. And I see you guys in the next video, which will probably be tomorrow. Bye.